another edition of Four Downs with the Czar. I'm Emory Hunt, the Czar of the Playbook here at Monmouth University, where the Monmouth Hawks knocked off the Fordham Rams in overtime, 42-41. to Looking at first down, Monmouth's offense, I thought the running game was there for them to have success. The offensive line was winning the battle up front all game long. They had fumbles by their two top tailbacks. LaVon Chaney went down with an injury. He had a fumble. Their second string tailback, Zach Welch, was doing well, but he fumbled the football as well. And so, again, they went to their third and fourth string backs. Ed Royds came in. Went 19 carries for 103 yards, 100 yards on the ground, two touchdowns, 5.3 yards a carry, but he didn't put the ball on the ground, which was very important, which is why they were able to ultimately win this game. And also on offense, you look at wide receiver Reggie White Jr. If you hadn't known him, you got a chance to see him up close to personal this afternoon. 6'3", 195, a sophomore. He's going to be the next big-time star coming from this Monmouth program at the receiver position. He played a great game. You look at his stats for the afternoon 10 catches 167 yards two touchdowns and also the game winning two point conversion so he played well the offensive line I thought had their way with Fordham's defensive front which is why they had some success early on but a lot of success in the second half when he needed to come back in this ball game Moving on to second down, Fordham's offense, I thought the passing game was a bit inconsistent. It was hit or miss all day long. You look at two deep opportunities. One was a fumble by Jordan Allen where he caught the football but got it knocked away. Also an incomplete pass deep to Allen where I thought he could have laid out for the reception. They also had two big running plays, but otherwise the offense was kind of off today versus this Monmouth defense. But when you look at a guy like Chase Edmonds, over 200 yards, he had a big 55-yard touchdown run where he ran over a defender, then out outran the other defenders to push this game into overtime. So the running game was there with the two big runs. Kendall Piercy also had some big time runs as well. But again, the passing game is what Fordham thrives off because it feeds off their running game, but they weren't able to get that going all game long. Looking at third down, Mama's defense, Darnell Leslie was outstanding all day long from a pass rushing standpoint. Number two was in the backfield all day as if he was another running back for the Fordham Rams. They had issues blocking him, and he came front side, so they were getting front side pressure. What was the biggest issue was a lot of missed tackles. That nearly cost them the football game is actually what got Fordham back in it. They missed a couple of tackles on that big 55-yard touchdown run by Chase Edmonds, but Darnell Leslie and ultimately that secondary did a good job in slowing down that Fordham passing game. And finally, looking at fourth down, Fordham's defense, I thought in the second half they struggled to get off the field. They really couldn't stop the run all game long. Guys couldn't get off blocks. They couldn't get pressure on the quarterback. I think that defensive line was the biggest reason why Monmouth was able to come back and win this ball game. They have to do a better job, again, getting off blocks and making stops at or behind the line of scrimmage. They did, a, they did do a great job in forcing turnovers, which helped build them a big lead going into half. But coming out of it, they really couldn't get off the field. And that defensive line was a big reason why. Offensive player of the game for Monmouth, you have to give it to wide receiver Reggie White Jr. Had a big time reception, a 77-yard reception off a slip screen. Then had the big reception on this end of the end zone for a touchdown. Then had the game-winning two-point conversion. So he was a nuisance for that Fordham secondary. Big time playmaker, a sophomore, really stepped up big today. Now for Fordham, the offensive player of the game, Chase Edmonds. You can't argue with over 200 yards rushing two rushing touchdowns and spectacular plays. Had a 77-yard touchdown run, also had a big-time 55-yard touchdown run to push this game into overtime. So Chase Edmonds was the big star heading into this game and definitely played that way with his performance. Defensive player of the game for the Monmouth Hawks was defensive end Darnell Leslie had three TFLs, a sack, and a lot of pressure. He also had five tackles on the day, but he was a constant nuisance, especially on that last drive. They couldn't really keep him out of the backfield. Leslie played a well of a game and was a big reason why the Monmouth Hawks came away victorious. Defensive player of the game for the Fordham Rams, I look at linebacker George Dawson. He moved him all around the formation. Sometimes you saw him in a slot. Sometimes you saw him out wide. He made a TFL. He also had a lot of tackles in the running game, but this was a guy that played well, played him well on all facets, offense, I'm sorry, defense, special teams, did what he had to do to help his team come away with a victory, but just didn't pay off because, again, Monmouth's defense really, I'm sorry, Fordham's defense couldn't really stop the run all game long, but George Dawson played a good game for the Rams. So that's a wrap here from Monmouth University. Again, I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. For more of our Four Down with the Czar segments, visit our website at footballgameplan.com slash four downs with the czar. And also for all of our scouting notes from these games, visit the website as well, footballgameplan.com slash hunt scouting notes.